Hi, my name is Tony Amato, and I welcome you all to the beautiful city of Florence. Florence is the cradle of the Renaissance. Bathed in architectural beauty, artist charm, and centuries of history, Florence is an Italian city of culture. It is found in the heart of Tuscany. The city is surrounded by beauty at every turn. The city attracts millions of tourists each year. The historic center of Florence was declared by UNESCO a World Heritage Site in 1982. The city is noted for its culture, Renaissance art, and architecture and monuments. Florence plays an important role in Italian fashion and is ranked in the top 15 fashion capitals of the world. Florence is located between Milan, Rome, and Venice, making it a relatively easy destination to get to. The easiest way to get to Florence is to fly to Florence Airport or to Pisa International Airport, located 62 miles 100 kilometers, west of Tuscany's capital. Florence Airport is called an Italian Aeroporto di Firenze Peretola, and its formal name is Amerigo Vespucci Airport. It is located just 10 kilometers away from Florence. Pisa International Airport PSA, is also known as Galileo Galilei Airport and is one of Tuscany's most important airports. The primary train station in Florence is Santa Maria Novilla. It is right in the city center and just a short walk from the Duomo and other major attractions. It is a terminus railway station which is used by 59 million people every year and is one of the busiest in Italy. You have many options to get from Florence Airport to Florence City Center. By taxi, which can make the trip in 15 minutes. By the shuttle tram, this is also the cheapest way, the T2 runs from the airport to the Anita stop close to the central station. The tram runs every 5 to 10 minutes and a ticket costs 1 euro and 50 cents per person. By bus, the Vola and Booz Airport shuttle connects Florence Airport to downtown Florence. Tickets are purchased on board and usually cost around 5 euros. By car rental, the car rental pickup location is off-site, but next to the airport. You can walk the 500 meters if you don't have much luggage, or you can take the free shuttle bus that runs every 20 minutes. Important tip, if your hotel is in a ZTL, Zono Traffico Limitado, limited traffic zone, make sure you give your rental car's license plate number to your hotel's reception. They will contact the local authorities, so you don't receive a fine. Florence is one of the most visited cities in Italy along with Rome and Venice. Here are the top 10 tourist attractions that you must see during your visit to Florence. Number 10. Piazzale Michelangelo. Michelangelo Square. Piazzale Michelangelo is the most famous observation point to appreciate the panorama of Florence. In the center of this square you can enjoy one of three copies of Michelangelo's David, this copy was made in bronze. Number 9. Palazzo Pitti e Giardino di Boboli. Pitti Palace and Boboli Gardens. The Palazzo Pitti, or the Pitti Palace in English, is a vast Renaissance palace in Florence. It is situated on the south side of the Arno, a short distance from the Ponte Vecchio. It houses several important museums, was built in the second half of the 15th century by Filippo Brunelleschi for Luca Pitti but was unfinished at his death in 1472. The original building was purchased in 1550 by Eleonora de Toledo, the wife of the Grand Duke Cosimo I de' Medici. Today, the palace and the Boboli Gardens house the Palatine Gallery, the Silver Museum, the Museum of Modern Art, the Costume Gallery, the Porcelain Museum and the Museum of Carriages. The Boboli Gardens comprise the largest monumental green area in Florence. Number 8. Mercato San Lorenzo e Mercato Centrale. San Lorenzo Market and Central Market. 
San Lorenzo Market is the largest street market in Florence, with hundreds of stalls selling clothes, souvenirs, and leather goods. Located just around the corner from the Central Square Piazza della Signoria, here you will find whatever you are looking for. Number 7. Basilica di Santa Croce. Basilica of the Holy Cross. The Basilica of the Holy Cross is a minor basilica. Situated on the Piazza di Santa Croce about 800 meters southeast of the Duomo. The burial place of some of the most illustrious Italians, such as Michelangelo, Galileo, and Machiavelli. Number 6. Piazza della Signoria. Della Signoria Square. Piazza della Signoria is a W-shaped square in front of the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence. It was named after the Palazzo della Signoria, also called Palazzo Vecchio. It is the main point of the origin and history of the Florentine Republic and still maintains its reputation as the political focus of the city. It is the meeting place of Florentines as well as the numerous tourists, located near Palazzo Vecchio and Piazza del Duomo and Gateway to Uffizi Gallery. The Palazzo Vecchio or the Old Palace in English, the town hall of the city. This massive, Romanesque, crenellated fortress palace is among the most impressive town halls of Tuscany. Originally called the Palazzo della Signoria after the Signoria of Florence, the ruling body of the Republic of Florence. Overlooking the square with its copy of Michelangelo's David statue as well the gallery of statues in the adjacent Loggia dei Lanzi, it is one of the most significant private places in Italy, and it hosts cultural points and museums. Number 5. Galleria dell'Accademia. Gallery of the Academy. The Gallery of the Academy is an art museum in Florence. It is best known as the home of Michelangelo's sculpture David. It also has other sculptures by Michelangelo and a large collection of paintings by Florentine artists. Top tip. Admission. Full ticket, 12 euro. Reduced ticket, 2 euro. Opening hours. Open from 8.15 a.m. to 6.50 p.m. Tuesdays through Sunday, entrance every 15 minutes. Closed on Mondays, January 1st, May 1st, and December 25th. Number 4. Galleria degli Uffizi. The Uffizi Gallery. The gallery entirely occupies the first and second floors of the large building constructed between 1560 and 1580 and designed by Giorgio Vazzare. It has collections of ancient sculptures and paintings from the 14th century and Renaissance period including some absolute masterpieces. Top tip. Admission. Regular. 12 euro. Reduced. 2 euro. Opening hours. From Tuesday to Sunday, 8.15 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Closed on. Mondays. December 25th. Notes. The ticket office closes 5.30 p.m. At 6.30 p.m. visitors will be invited to make their way to the exit. Number 3. Ponte Vecchio. The Old Bridge. Florence Ponte Vecchio or Old Bridge is located along the pedestrian zone south of Piazza della Repubblica towards Palazzo Pitti. Built very close to the Roman crossing, the Ponte Vecchio was the only bridge across the Arno in Florence until 1218. The current bridge was rebuilt after a flood in 1345. The little houses you see on the Ponte Vecchio are all small shops. Today, they are all or mostly all jewelry shops, as it was decreed by the Medici family so that there wouldn't be a stink as they passed overhead through the corridor that Vasari built to let the family go from Palazzo Vecchio to Palazzo Pitti without having to mingle with the crowds. Number 2. Battistero di San Giovanni. Baptizery of San Giovanni.
the Baptistry of San Giovanni, one of the most ancient churches in Florence. The octagonal baptistry stands in both the Piazza del Duomo and the Piazza San Giovanni, across from Florence Cathedral and the Campanile di Giotto. The Italian poet Dante Alighieri and many other notable Renaissance figures, including members of the Medici family, were baptized in this baptistry. The baptistry is renowned for its three sets of artistically important bronze doors with relief sculptures. The south doors were created by Andrea Pisano and the north and east doors by Lorenzo Ghiberti. Michelangelo dubbed the east doors the Gates of Paradise. Number 1. Cattedrale di Santa Maria del Fiore. Cathedral of St. Mary of the Flower. Florence's Santa Maria del Fiore Cathedral stands tall over the city with its magnificent Renaissance dome designed by Filippo Brunelleschi, with the baptistry right across. The cathedral named in honor of Santa Maria del Fiore is a vast Gothic structure built on the site of the 7th century church of Santa Reparata the remains of which can be seen in the crypt. The dome is an absolute masterpiece of art that enchants the world since its creation. It is the symbol of Florence, of the Renaissance, and of humanism in general. With its 45.5 meters of diameter and a total height of more than 116 meters, the dome is the largest masonry vault in the world and was built between 1420 and 1436 by Filippo Brunelleschi following the project he presented in the competition launched by the opera in 1418. The Cathedral of Florence was consecrated by Pope Eugene IV on March 25, 1436. Check out the opening hours and important tips that are currently displayed on the screen. Here are Mio Travel's bonus tips for Florence. The Basilica di Santa Maria Novella. The Basilica di San Lorenzo. The Piazza del Mercato Nuovo or New Market. Via Tornabuoni for high fashion boutiques. Check out the street artist painting on sidewalks. Check out the street musicians performing in Piazza della Repubblica. Visit Filippo Brunelleschi's historic building of the Hospital of Innocence. I hope you've enjoyed Mio Travel's guided tour of beautiful Florence, see you soon in another beautiful city of Italy. Please subscribe to the channel to receive notifications for new releases. Arrivederci.